The project we created in the previous lesson comes with some starter content. That means we can start the dev server right away and see a working app in the browser. We can do that directly from inside VS Code by using its built-in terminal. Open a new terminal by clicking on Terminal, then New Terminal, or use the shortcut on the right. VS Code will open a new terminal pane at the bottom of the editor with the project's path already selected. From there, just run the command npm run serve to start the development server. View will compile and bundle the app behind the scenes, then show this message in the terminal output. We're only interested in the top line, which is the address the app is being served on. You can hold the control key and click on the link to open it up in the browser. If we go back to the editor and expand the source directory, we can open the file called app.view. Don't worry about everything in here right now, just delete it. We'll start by creating a template block with a pair of template tags. Inside them, create an H1 with Hello World as the text. If we save and go to the browser, we'll see the heading with the text we just added. Next, let's make the text dynamic. That's to say, we'll make it depend on data that's not hard-coded into the HTML. We'll start by creating a script block and export default an object. Then, we'll add a method with ES6 method syntax called data. The method will return an object with a value, like a name. Then, we replace world in the heading with the name property we returned in double curly braces. If we save and take a look in the browser, the heading updated with the words, Hello John. You can add your own name between the quotes and it will update in the browser when you save the file. Finally, we'll add some styling to the heading in a style block. If we switch over to the browser, the heading will be blue. What you just made is a so-called component. Components are reusable units that each perform a single task. We combine those units into pages that later forms a fully functional view application. A component uses the .view file extension and is made up of three language blocks. The template block contains the HTML markup. The script block contains the data and functionality for the component. And the style block contains the styling for the markup. You don't have to worry about components right now, we cover them in more depth later on in the course. For now, we'll use the app.view file to learn the fundamental concepts of view. In the next video, we'll learn more about how the view application instance works. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.